So the, uh, the first uh, presentation that we will look at, actually, is PollEverywhere.com. Now, PollEverywhere.com is, is an excellent website, which um, doesn't necessarily have an app, but it is accessible online. And so the way that you can use PollEverywhere.com is to uh, assess your, your students to see where they are, either during a lesson or prior to the beginning of a lesson or unit. So the Growing Success document talks to us about knowing our students and about being able to assess them and to understand their point of entry, where they need to go, and what they already know. So rather than starting a unit where everybody will listen to us at the beginning, we need to understand our students and what they already know and how we can meet them based off of those various entry points of understanding. Now, we may do this traditionally with paper, um, but it may take us a day or two or three, depending on busy schedules, to, uh, to assess those and to get the feedback back. And at that point in time, the, the actual, like, you know, the moment of learning has been lost, and we may have to readdress it prior to um, handing those papers back. So if we can use something like the Smart Response System, which we won't talk about right now, but the Smart Response System actually does um, now have, uh, have smartphone uh, capabilities. We'll talk more with this uh, free site called PollEverywhere.com. Again, the uh, Smart Response System is, uh, is a couple thousand dollars. It is very powerful if you have access to it. If not, PollEverywhere.com is a free site, and you will be able um, to uh, assess students with them using their phones um, e and get immediate uh, live and visual feedback um, for discussion and for you to see if a particular uh, topic needs to be uh, readdressed. Now as far as equity is concerned, not everybody may have a phone. If you do have a, uh, a few devices, which we can talk about briefly as we move forward here, perhaps you have something you could provide to the students, or maybe a few people have laptops, maybe you have a couple of desktops in your room. Anything that goes online, it doesn't matter what it is, be it a, an iPod Touch or, or a, an Android tablet or an iPad or an iPhone or a laptop or a desktop, anything that has access to the Internet can access PollEverywhere.com. So with, these, uh, with this diversity of devices, you should be able to get just about every kid online even if they're not using the same device. So let's have a look at that now. Okay, so PollEverywhere.com does a beautiful and free job at allowing us to capture um, thoughts and ideas and understanding of students uh, when it comes to either uh, diagnostic or formative assessments. So uh, let's have a look to see how PollEverywhere.com uh, works. So we're going to go to the internet. Now this is a poll that I have previously established on PollEverywhere.com. So all you have to do, and it's completely free, is just visit that website and um, it will walk you through in a fairly straightforward fashion on how you can do this. Now it is free, as I say, for 30 students or less. Above that they will want you to uh, pay and also too they will want you to uh, pay if you would like to do non-anonymous, so therefore naming your students um, uh, functionalities. But if you're, if you're good just for an overview and an overall assessment, then you can do so. So you'll see right now I am typing into um, the uh, text, text messaging feature of my iPhone the code, um, which is uh, the, the number that I'm texting right now is 37607. That's technically the phone number. And the code is the answer to the question. So here's the question. I have a cell phone, and you'll see that there are some answers here already from today, November 5th at Offshia, and 83% of the uh, respondents said that they did have a cell phone in their pocket and at the ready. But 8% said it's in their car, and 8% said that uh, I used to, but I don't know now. So um, just something that's a little bit different. So we just sent off that uh, text message, and you'll see here that our results will change um, as it hits the servers of PollEverywhere.com, and, uh, and we'll add to the... Uh, um, answers that have already um, been uh, established here on this particular poll. So while we're waiting for that particular uh, 
um, piece of information to come through. We'll see here that um, off to the right hand side we have the opportunity to stop the poll. We can also look at a summary table or a static chart. So if we were to click summary table, just click that right now so that you can see. It tells you how many responses there are. It just gives you an overall summary. Um, response history will show you you know how many people have done so what date it came through so this is a great way for you to open up a quiz for students who uh, maybe uh, were absent on a particular day and what they can do is they can go in and they can if you left it open they can go in and they can also respond to your quiz just going back now we can look at the live chart Okay, as it loads in here. Also over here off to the right hand side you will see that uh, people can uh, download the slide or you can download the slide into your PowerPoint presentation and um, it's really very fantastic in the fact that it can um, embed a slide um, into your um, into your PowerPoint presentation that you may already be using which makes your poll um, operate live within the PowerPoint that you are using right now. Now you'll notice maybe if uh, while I was talking there that the in my pocket at the ready was at 83 percent and now it is at 85. So there a new, uh, a new addition um, to the poll came in as well. So right now you'll see I'm going to do another poll here on the phone um, using a um, different version which would be this right here submitting a code to the actual website pollev.com so not every student may come with a cell phone on any given day so we always remember uh, or have to remember that we need to be equitable in this fashion so those students that do have a cell phone are of course more than welcome to use them but other students may have a laptop or a uh, say an Android device that has internet access or uh, you may have a few desktops in your classroom and you'll notice right there that I will never use a cell phone just rose um, up to seven percent as that's the next one that I just added in there just as a as a demonstration that was conducted via the pollev.com web application using the internet browser Safari on the iPhone so Here's a classic example of how you can use the text messaging feature. But if students don't have, a, have an unlimited plan or if you are not able to use the Wi-Fi in your building because maybe you are not a school that has Wi-Fi um, everywhere or maybe your Wi-Fi is limited, in this aspect uh, you, could, you could use your, uh, as I say, you could, you, you could use the text messaging feature but if a student did not have a, um, um, a uh, unlimited data plan and if their data plan was quite you know quite small then um, you may not want them to use that particular application so and then if so if their data plan is small you don't want them to text if you can't get on Wi-Fi you're not going to be able to use uh, the pollev.com Wi-Fi functionality on your phone but maybe you have laptops in your room maybe you have wired desktops in your room so there are a number of different ways that you can access this functionality either by text messaging or by internet access on whatever device you're using whether it be an iPod touch whether it be an iPhone whether it be a laptop whether it be a desktop whether it be an Android tablet no matter what it just has to be able to get online as long as it can get online then students can participate in this type of assessment without necessarily having to have their uh, without having to have like a, a text messaging functionality so that's um, that's the usage of uh, polleverywhere.com and we'll just uh, experience this one more time with one other question here do you see your students using their phones in your classroom and of course we have quotations on phones because it is uh, often the uh, the misnomer when it comes to using the, these devices and the fact that people see them as phones as if students are going to take phone calls and have conversations in your classroom which of course these devices are far more powerful than that and you'll see yes um, every day um, it's live 
It's a live response system, so yourself and everybody in your classroom will be able to see um, the assessments um, and uh, whether or not everybody um, does or does not understand a particular topic. And we'll give you opportunity to address it right now um, at the point of instruction without having to have any delay um, in the learning. So PoemEverywhere.com it really is a, an excellent and free resource and a great way to be able to utilize um, the cell phones that are in uh, your students' pockets.